Hi, it's Bonnie, and today I want to share some tips and ideas for using tempered glass in your mosaics and mixed media artwork. Tempered glass can be used as a glass overlay, giving a beautiful jeweled-like surface. There's a debate. Is it mosaic? Since it is fitting together of disparate pieces, I guess it qualifies as a mosaic. Frankly, it doesn't matter what you call it. It's sparkly, interesting, unexpected, and fun to work with. I first saw tempered glass being used within the context of mosaics in an exhibition in 2005. Work by Ellen Blakely was intriguing. I also discussed tempered glass in my book. Tempered glass is a type of safety glass processed by chemical or thermal treatments to increase its strength. Tempered glass is used in a variety of demanding applications, including shower doors, passenger windows, tables, and refrigerator trays. These shelves were once used for a store display. I like the thickness, 3 sixteenths of an inch. A friend actually found these at the local dump and brought them to me. Resources to purchase or find tempered glass are given in the description below. Breaking tempered glass can be intimidating. I recommend you wrap the glass in a towel or some heavy plastic. To break the surface tension, you must hit with a hammer on the edge. The edge is the weak spot. It may take a few smacks, but you'll know immediately when it breaks. Finding the weak spot. There'll be a pop sound and the glass will sag. Carefully open the protective cover and you will see and hear the glass fracturing. Wear safety glasses. The granular chunks are used as mosaic tessera. Islands of glass are larger pieces of the shattered material and you can use whole or break further. Tempered glass comes in several thicknesses. This is from a shattered coffee table. It's much thicker, about a half inch. The glass from the shelf that we broke was 3 16 inch thick, pretty common. Adhesives I use for tempered glass are the same I recommend for glass on glass techniques. PVA glue, MAC glue, or silicone. You can use any number of substrates. I often use medium density fiberboard because it's smooth, but these inexpensive bathroom tiles work in a pinch too. If using MDF, I recommend you give it a quick coat of primer, gesso, or 50-50 white glue and water. For the paper collage, I usually use Wellbond. Once my paper collage is ready, I'll add some shiny bits, mylar and glitter are good enhancements. Incorporating photographs or vintage images is another technique that marries well with tempered glass. When using a photograph, always make a photocopy. Do not use inkjet copies. The ink will run. I collect vintage postage stamps and interesting papers. This sample incorporates mulberry papers, a color photocopy of a vintage image. I use Wellbond as my adhesive. On this sample, I'm creating a border using 8mm Kismet tiles. I like the idea of having a frame around the piece. Once my paper collage is ready, I'll add some shiny bits. Mylar and glitter are great enhancements. see the photograph or specific image, I cover it with a larger piece of clear glass. I usually do this before I begin putting down the tempered glass. If I apply tempered glass over the photograph, the image will be obscured. I find silicone works best for this. Be generous with the silicone. We want a full seat. It works best if the clear glass is less than two inches square. It's difficult to get all of the bubbles out of the glue. And about silicone, 
resist the urge to wipe it off with your fingers or a paper towel. Trust me, it just makes a mess. It's best if you can scoop it up with your spatula or allow it to dry and the next day you can easily clean it up with a straight edge razor. And finally, the tempered glass overlay. These large pieces are the islands. Using matte glue or well bond, I place an island down and then with a clean tool, I tap the island to break it apart. Wherever there's odd little spaces, I can fill in with the little bits and I can cut the tempered glass down with my wheeled nipper if need be. MAC is a thinner consistency but dries clear quickly. Wellbond is water soluble and will easily clean up but may take much longer to dry clear. A downside to MAC glue is that to clean it off you need to use a razor. But if you're not grouting, no worries, it dries totally clear. Grouting is completely optional. Some of these works are grouted, others not at all. There are so many interesting ways to use tempered glass in your artworks. Sylvia Whitting sets the tempered glass directly into the mortar bed. What you're seeing behind is the adhesive. Susan Crescenzi often uses polymer clay in her work. For this mandala, I made a collage using mulberry papers and glitter. You can see the bright colors were even more enhanced by the tempered glass overlay. For this large corporate logo, the sails are tempered glass over a collage of white papers and silver mylar and glitter. The orange background is stained glass and the background is white vitreous glass tiles. The possibilities are endless. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. And remember, life's a mosaic, you pick the pieces. pieces.